All right, guys, welcome back to another tier list video. And in this tier list video, yes, yeah, sounds good me saying that. I, I'm going to be ranking every single Call of Duty zombie boss all the way from World at War to Black Ops Cold War. Now, yes, you might see that the Black Ops Cold War zombie bosses are not on this tier list. The simple reason was the tier list did not come, did not come with that, unfortunately. And in order to create a tier maker account, you have to have a Twitter account. And I'm not going to use, I didn't use Twitter and I never will use that horrible platform. But to be honest, I'll probably actually have to create an account one day on it. So let's so let's just start with the Black Ops Cold War bosses, right? So the Megaton, which could be 10 this year, right? So I put the Megaton, we're just going to be ranking the Black Ops Cold War bosses really quick because I don't actually have them. I would say it's an okay boss. The Mimic. I would say I've seen better than the Mimic. Uh, I don't believe the, the, the canning guy is here, out of Borough Kobe. What's his name again? I'd put him in I've seen better as well. I feel like he's better on Black Ops 3. And also the Tempest. Put straight up on him, see? See the Tempest at Black Ops 4? We'll move that from the game. Alright, let's get seriously into the tier list. The first item is the Moon Man. Out the Moon, the Space Man at the Moon. What does he do? Fucking steals your perks. And he comes every single round. And he gets stronger the higher rounds are, the harder he is to kill. You know, he doesn't steal your perks. You get absolutely nothing for killing him. And. Yeah. Does he really need to be in the game? Really? It just, it's just a troll. It just it trolls the player and it gives the player a bit of advantage. It steals the player's perks. It makes your red screen potentially kill you. And once, I don't know if this happened to me or happened to one of my friends. You know like the escalation sites in, in Moon where the drills come from? It teleported you right inside of it. Or I don't know if it was me but it was one of my friends. If there was someone in my game, it was, this was years ago. I don't remember the top of my head. But yeah. Alright, the next boss is... The Adri Cadral, Electric Man out of transit. Now he did return as a final boss and on Alpha Omega, but we're not going to count that because we're only ranking like mini bosses, we're not rank actual bosses. So we'll just rank him out of transit. Kind of a pointless, you can EMP the bus, which is really really annoying if you're on the bus, just like future. The only way to kill him is by mailing them, if you've got Gavin or a bully knife, so you can kill them really really fast. It's just, just more of a nuisance than anything. I put really, I don't think he needs to get removed from the game. I feel like this is the one boss that Transit could get away with. Yeah, yeah. Open the, open the other boss. Alright, the next boss is the ripped-off ripped off version of the Jumping Jack. Not Jumping Jacks, that's the name of the ripped-off. The ripped-off version of No Mark 6 for hours. And these only spawn in certain ways on die rides. They're called Jumping Jacks. I don't know why. <laughs> And they screw the player over, and they kill you, but I have to give them rewards. You get a max ammo reward when you end the round killing. If the player manages to receive 100% accuracy, which is actually impossible to get over 100% accuracy, or the player has to melee them, kill them with melees, or anything like that, you get a free perk. Though, Die Rise only does have 6 perks, so they weren't the most important enemy in the game. Uh, I'm going to stay as soon as I don't think there's anything special about them. But they do have a decent reward. But, I still think I've seen better of them. They're annoying. Uh, the Nova Six Brawlers. We're just going to assume that the teleporting Nova Six Brawlers in Boon are not here. So these guys show up in Kino. Five. And Moon in Black Ops 1. And the remakes as well, obviously. No, I don't think they actually. No, they do show up in Black Ops 4 5 remake, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they do, they do, they do, they do. Uh, what they do is they make the player nausea if you kill them without using an explosive weapon. And they also damage the players. Like, no other games I can just EMP the players, but in the newer games, if you stand next to five of these things, you kill five of these things and jump right next to you. With like a bullet weapon, you will die instantly from the gas. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the gas doesn't damage you. In Black Ops 1. However, it does 
damage you and black ops three and I'm pretty sure it does the same thing in Black Ops 4. Bit of a wrong about Black Ops 4, but played Black Ops 4 classified in a very long time. Also, the Moon Ones teleport, which are absolutely annoying. Still, it's one of the worst location of labs. They will always kill you, especially on Black Ops 1 Moon. They're not as bad as Black Ops 2 Moon, Black Ops 3 Moon. But they're still annoying. So, I'm going to be number really. They're kind of pointless. Alright, next is the Space Monkeys. Could be straight up honest here. Spate monkeys are a horrible design boss. But becoming the same, when it be turned to power, never turn the power, you'll never see it. So what they do is come during the dog rounds, which is like every five, six, or four rounds, depending on your luck. And steal your perks. That's all they do. Now, if you're playing solo, you you know it's kind of impossible to save all the perks, no matter what. Playing co-op, four player co-op. You can probably get a perk all out of it pretty right, easily. Know. Granted, the round takes forever, but then for worse. So there's a win win loss, loss situation. If you obviously you end the round, the Thunder Gun doesn't one shot them, which is stupid. That one health gap, I forgot to talk about that, I forgot about that. Their health just goes up, something up and up. I seriously think they should have had a health gap, but they didn't, which was the most stupid thing ever. They could survive with the direct shot from the Thunder Gun, which makes zero sense. But they're a one shot obviously after the thunder gun. Uh, what else do they do? If you kill them all before they touch the perk, you get a free perk. If they touch the perk, then you don't get a free perk. You get an example at the end of the round. They're really, really bad. I don't think they should be removing them, but really again. Thrashers are on sets of no semen. And if you are unlucky, it's one every five to six rounds naturally. You get like two on solo and probably like four on go up. However, uh, spores, spores are the problem. Spores are the huge problem about them. So what the spores do? If a spore hits a zombie, it has a chance to turn into a flash and get a horde. You might get unlucky and get like 20 flashes. No, I don't think that's actually possible. But you can still get like 5, I'm pretty sure. Maybe 10, I'm not entirely sure. I don't come and test that out for 11, plus I'm not playing it. It's about quite a while, to be honest. Yeah, they just spawn it far too often, and they, you get no reward at all. I think it would be straight up honestly, because you know the no reward thing and it's spam spawning far too long to remove from the game. The next is this guy at Dead of the Night. Uh, I've never actually encountered this guy in Dead of the Night because I've only played Dead of the Night three times ever. No joke. And what this guy does is, it's like normal vampire. I don't know what he is, a bit vampire. Frick knows, I don't care what he is. He's annoying. He can. Takes away at like 150 health and he jumps on top of your head and you can't get rid of him. Really annoying. Spawns like after around 40 and all that. And they give no reward and should get removed from the game. Straight up honestly. Next to Denison's, that's a simple removal from the game. Screw people over. Pointless enemy in the game. The only reason this enemy was put in was due to. Wow. Like, like, I, I, two generations ago consoles. Honestly, it's really. You know, I'm still going to call it last gen console because I don't. I still consider the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and Series S and the Xbox Series S due to the fact uh, 95% of them are still going home. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, next is... This guy's at the Boys of Despair. This guy spawns in the Boys of Despair in a minute. But what's his name? What's his name? Oh, what's he? He spawns in bar too often, let's just say that. And he's annoying, he's not so, he's annoying to kill, but really, gives no reward. But, you know what? Alright, the next is another vampire from Bond. Dead of the Night, pretty much the exact same as a red vampire, but less annoying, really. Next is the Ice, ice Catalyst. What a zombie does is, it buffs all the zombie health. Buff all the zombie health. So the zombies have like double, triple health in the entire shield, what the particular number is. And he runs away, he runs away from the player, and he makes an entire horde pretty much recalable. I'm sure he's a helium tab, obviously. One of the weapons I've got suck in the morning call duty zombies, which is kind of sad. I'm going to put really in it, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. But it is very, 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 very annoying. The next is this is the Marauder. The Marauder 
It's found in the map name, and it's found in far too common. Let's just straight up say that. It's found in far too often. And they have a man glitch where you can be standing behind you, behind them quite a piece of distance, and they still kill you. And this glitch has never been patched since launch. And it's really, really annoying. Oh, I'm going to put them in really. And I'm going to rank the destroyer. We never will rank the destroyer while we're here. Destroyer is a little bit better. The destroyer doesn't have a glitch where the destroyer can kill you by not looking at the player, which I find very stupid. Uh, Hellhounds. Oh. Hellhounds are a fun boss to fight. Get a max ammo reward. That's all. Uh, the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers are pointless. Spawn and Shadows Evil when you do the ritual and set a smooth ritual. And revelations, and the only use they have is to get you want to get the Godmaster revelations. But um, they're not really anything special about them. You don't get any rewards for killing them. But I guess you get the skill of that sapling, and I guess you get the pictures. So uh, I'll say okay, the Godmaster. Nothing special, but next is the Furies. I don't know why the the Furies were added in in revelations. They're annoying. They teleport, and they can kill the players on them. I think these are the reasons why these the dog rounds take in that game. On that map. Even on solo, it's not like a five minute dog round it. It's stupid. Uh, I think they're I've I've seen better to be honest. Spiders. Spiders are just like dogs. Now you might be like, okay, so you're just gonna put them in fun, because you can max out as well. Their hitbox is fucking awful. I guess he sounds cool. Alright, fine. Because of the Easter egg reward. Because of the Easter egg reward. Mm. But no one's going to do the Easter egg at the same time. No one's going to do the eat this fight. I'm going to put it up I've seen one of these I'm going to Yeah, next is the Gowan team. The guy of Ancient Evil. As far as I know, I haven't played Black Ops 4. Rarely played Black Ops 4. Uh, it comes like every four or five rounds. Unless you get a light father. He's annoying to kill, he's shield's so stupid. He's a bit too tanky for most people's liking. Mm. I don't think he's a person or I'm gonna give some drops. He gets shield parts, but the first time you kill him from correct. I uh I would say yes in there, I'm gonna be generous. Alright, next is Black Ops Sea Panza. Black Ops Sea Panza There's two versions of Panza you see. It's just a tough Panza. And he shoots top charges, will absolutely destroy the player. They get spammed a little bit too much to the boss site, they die in that boss site, but there are ways to counter them by using Danger Glows or PhD, playing on the mod obviously. And yeah, they're a fun boss that comes every. They don't come up that often. And uh, they don't come that often, I think it's like. Round 12, round 18, or 17, 18. They come like every 5 or 6 rounds. But the Eisen Rock. Well, the maps are in. There are also, there's a chance they won't spawn in the Revelation, a chance they will spawn in the Revelation. So I'm going to put them in. I think they're a great boss to them. No, they're not fun, but they're great. They're not like, oh yes, a panther, I love fighting panthers. Nah, they're great, but they're not fun. Alright, next is a werewolf boss. Werewolf boss comes in every single round. So once again, I did a night boss, so I've hardly fought it. They come in every single round. Quite a premium boss as well, to be honest. They might have to get the back of which sort of I think I'll be straight up honest here. Really? They just want the fuck you off. Next is the Sweeper Zombie out of. Chanula. Yes, Chanula. And they blind the player. Uh, they drop nothing. Yeah, I've seen better. The witches are buried. Steal your money. They only spawn in when you go to the mansion, or you walk to the mansion. You can get a free pair occasionally from the house when the house is the mansion, or, or, or the lights are on. You can get two players to do the time, the, the, the time slip, the time bomb exploit. Which is cool. Uh, overall, they're not, not really special. They're really cool. I would say I've seen better because they can still get money. And they can tell the barbaric as well. Next is the Electric Nova Crawlers, which if I'm correct, are these speedy boys? No, these are the ones. No, these are the speedy boys. They run like super sprint speed. Um, 
think I have a ship. I want to ship it. There. Really? Do, 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 do we really, really need them? Do we seriously need them? They're pointless. Same as these other brother. I think that's right. One of these two are the super sword and one of these two are the super sword. This is annoying. Alright, next is a bright father. Bright father's got an issue being too tanky. Looks absolutely disgusting. Uh, once again, really. Our next is the the meatballs. What the official name is? What is that? What's actually their official name? Well, what have they? They just ripped off of Raps out of multiplayer campaign. Literally, they are just rap rip offs. Uh, uh, they get max ammo, so I guess. Yeah, decent. I'd say you wait, they're, they're cool. Next is the Margler. Margler's a very really, really fun boss to fight. Three head boss, really simple. Though if the three heads were open 24-7, I'd probably put it in fun. Because if three heads are not open 24-7, I'm going to put it in grave. Because it can can kill you and it is deadly. Next is the flies. Flies are okay, I would put them higher, but flies have a weird hit box. Alright, next is the tiger. Oh. Put my shape on, I see. Tigers are the exact same dogs, spawn a lot of more often dogs, and they only spawn at 9. They have one issue, which I put some more than dog, two tiers lower dogs, and that is the heavy attack that they do, which can do 100% 100 damage to the player, and on like day one of the game, they did 150 health, and they would one shot the player. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would one shot the player. But you'll head on with the girl and no, uh, really, really not fun to fight. So, okay. Next is George Romero. Alright. George, let's talk about the two types of George Romero. Now, George Romero has a ridiculous amount of health. Rest in peace. For 250,000 solo, 250,000 feet, 750, 1 million, 4 players in the game. There's good weapons to get like the Ragnarok and all that, I guess. The Ray Gun is pretty decent as well. And the scavenger is decent as well, it's more the back of it, I don't know the back of my team is I don't know why it's in the back of one's team. Uh, decent. Spawns far too often, there's a very, very annoying boss. However, I'm going to give him some props. If he dropped absolutely nothing. I could give him. But, 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 But he drops even stuff like you get a dead machine and you get a free perk if you've not completed the Easter egg. Complete the Easter egg, you get a free Wonder Waffle. So, because of the free Wonder Waffle, right? Because of the perk in that. I would say. Because he's not very annoying, I'd say I've seen better. Okay, next is the Valkyrie Drones and the Valkyrie Summon. Valkyrie Drones do not belong in Dora, probably got straight up, honestly. Uh, and they summon the Hunter Stones and Electra Zombies, which is extremely annoying. And they're just very annoying to fight, but it's not fun. I feel like if they're putting a lot of that, I could be basically going to say they're putting Icing Belt on the field and summon the Hunter Zombies. Next is the Pyro Zombie, which is likely just an Apon Zombie. Uh, yeah. A bit more tanky than the Apon Zombie. Man, it's a bit faster. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Next is... This is a electric like, boy, but let's poison my poison boy. Just damage this player over time. Uh, nice. Yeah. Or oh, Black Ops 2 or Indian Panzer. They always say the Black Ops 3 one is much stronger on Origins. So what makes this one out to a lot bit more annoying? Because he grabs you. But he is easier to kill. You, he will kill you. He will kill any if you're playing with the randoms. There's a good chance you won't be set up for round eight because you have shitty MP40s, and he will kill the entire squad. A uh, decent amount of time to have jump. Obviously, for the same for our black ops two, we'll make your red screen with jump. Black ops two, lovely. Uh, uh, I guess I can tell a bit more. I'm seeing. 
Mm. It's one too often. I mean, you don't. It's just one too often. We can put them in the They actually do like zombie fighting you. Uh, actually, he's probably the worst out of them. He's probably just as bad as. Probably just as bad as the other guys. Alright, next. Pentagon Feast. Pentagon Feast is an interesting type of boss. You're going to be surprised by the Pentagon Teeth deal. So, what the Pentagon Teeth does, he comes every 5 to 10 rounds, assuming you have power on, obviously. And he steals your gun. And if you don't kill him, you get max ammo. If you kill him, you get your, you'll get your gun back, and you get a fire seal. If you kill him before he touches your game, you, you get a bonfire seal, which you don't know what a bonfire seal is, assuming you do know watching this video. What it does is make pack a bunch of cost, 1,000. I think it's like, I think it's a 60 cent power. Not a 30 cent power. But I could be wrong about that, and I know there's a way to get it in class of iron world, which is going to be like a that. Overall, I would say it's okay, because the reward touch is pretty decent now. Yeah, fire sale or a bonfire sale, which is cool. Cool boss. Not, 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 not really special. Next is Napalm. Uh, Napalm is lethal, but it can be used at the player's advantage. So, and he drops out of 11. So, I don't think he's okay. I think he's better. He's better than this one. By the way, if you didn't know this, you know what? And the monkeys that steal your. Your power ups, which are in the land. Mm, can be abused if you know what you're doing. Because I think you can get abused and get infinite max ammo, so if you know what you're doing. I'm going to put my hive girls, I get pair of balls, by the way. If you get that time, which is cool. Yeah, I'm a bit icy better. Alright, Brutus. Fun's the first opinion. Brutus is not a fun boss to fight. Well, let's talk about why Brutus is not a fun boss to fight. Step one, he shakes your screen to hell. Step two, he will lock down every single perk, every single crafting table, and the entire map, making you have to buy everything again. And that is not fun to fight. But it's decent, I guess. And that is going to be the tier list. I'm going to remove this tier list section. Don't need it to be here. You know why the reason I created a tier list section? So I like that this. I did this like as a, I did this like a video, but I never uploaded it obviously. Yeah, like a month or two ago, and I decided to redo it. To be honest, I'm pretty sure this tier list is pretty much the exact same. What did like it was probably a couple things changed around, but I just never uploaded it obviously because I there was audio issues and all that. And it probably still is. I'm not perfect. Super when it comes to videos, I'm rapid making, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't script these at all. And I don't like to script these videos. There's a reason why I don't script this. I feel like it ruins it. It makes it less fun. I think I would think on the spot, it makes it harder. And I've fought on the spot for hours and hours and hours. Well, I've scripted it. I looked at everything and I was well, everything properly. I'd probably say it. some of these tier list items could change. But I like to base everything off my own opinion. Over what mostly the right opinion is to be honest, I think a lot of zombie YouTubers have biasness to these big bosses at best because oh they're fun to kill. Well, what do they do that makes the game not fun? That's what I look at. That's what I look at when I remember I write any series or any game series. I always look at what's fun about them, what's what's cool about them. Uh not everyone does zombie thing. That's maybe the video. Like like as always, subscribe if you do. And I will see you all tomorrow. I think we're going to start the Force, and we'll force on Leash. Uh, we're not entirely sure. This is going to be too long.